Today, we are going to learn about four easy and simple ways that Ayurveda tells us how to take care of ourselves in terms of stress and anxiety. Follow a specific uh, time pattern, like what we call as the rhythm. You get up at a certain time, go to sleep at a certain time, which is a very challenging, you know, act for us. Your digestive system is totally based on how you, at what time you wake up, what time you eat, uh, what time you go to sleep, exercise, everything is done with a rhythm. Your pantry is your pharmacy. So number one spice that has been so researched is turmeric. So there's a recipe called golden milk. You mix it and you drink it at night time so that you can get good sleep because sleep and anxiety are closely related. And then you can also get rid of excess of this inflammation that can bother you when you are in stressful periods. Second thing in the pantry that we have is nutmeg. Nutmeg for ages has been used for good sleep and also a tranquil effect on the mind as well. If you go to any store, there's nutmeg powder. You can use that powder too. You can just take a pinch of it, keep it on your tongue, and then just leave it there to dissolve. The first herb that I choose is Brahmi for the mind, and then ashwagandha for body and mind. Brahmi has an effect that is unparalleled to any other herb or any other drug for that matter because it is very subtle. It enhances a better coordination between the intellect, the willpower, and the memory, which have to work really well when we are in a stressful state. The ashwagandha has a power to bring strength of the body higher so that the mind can depend or rely on the body for its function. So we all need a strong body to hold the mind anchored so that the mind doesn't zap and then <laughs> go on its own a tailspin. The first treatment is called Shiro Dhara. Shira means head. Dhara means a stream of oil that is flowing on the head right on your third eye, which is to bring in a compulsive state of trance when you are administered this treatment. And this is also a number one treatment for sleeplessness or insomnia too. Choose to do it once a week, twice a week, depending on the intensity of anxiety that they have. So now you can be thinking, how do I do the herbs? How do I do the diet? How do I do the sleep? Um, and then the therapy. But we can put it together for you. We as practitioners here at SCU can custom make a program for you that helps you to recover from stress and anxiety.